Many investors are intrigued by the growing interest, adoption, and investment in cryptocurrency, also known as crypto for short. This primer will define cryptocurrency as an asset class and walk you through the fundamentals of investing in it. In today's video, I will give you an insight about cryptocurrencies, what to consider before investing, and details to help you decide if it belongs in your portfolio. If you decide you're ready to dive into crypto investing. Number 1. What are the different types of cryptocurrencies? While the term cryptocurrency refers to virtual currencies that use blockchain technology, there are many different types, approximately 20,000 as of mid-2022. Bitcoin was one of the first cryptocurrencies to emerge and is still the most well-known. Collectively, all other coin-based cryptocurrencies are called altcoin or alternative to Bitcoin. Here are some of the examples of cryptocurrencies and altcoins. Bitcoin, Ether, Tether, USDC, US Dollar Coin, BNB, Binance Coin, XRP, Cardano, Solana, and Dogecoin. If you want to see the other more altcoins, you can visit coinmarketcap.com. Remember, several cryptocurrencies have gained high profiles, amassed large market value, and developed broad bases of users and investors in recent years. Because the crypto ecosystem is new and many cryptocurrencies are young, it's difficult to predict which coins will be the most successful. Even though these coins are among the most established ones, they still have risk. The risk of investment loss is real and significant. The term responsibility refers to the act of determining whether or not a person is responsible for his or her own actions. Number two, what to consider before investing in cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency can be volatile with large swings in value over short periods of time, which may give you pause if you're risk averse. Keep in mind that anyone can launch a cryptocurrency and how it's regulated is in flux, so it's vital to thoroughly vet any possible investments to avoid scams. You should also consider why you want to invest in cryptocurrency. Are you looking to capitalize on a trend or do you have a well-planned strategy? Because cryptocurrency is still relatively unknown to mainstream investors, the risks of investing are difficult to determine. While cryptocurrency may be a strong long-term investment opportunity, it is advisable to remain cautious and be clear about your intentions and expectations before diving in. When investing, it is important to keep the long-term in mind. This is especially true for assets that can move rapidly up or down like crypto. Number three, is cryptocurrency a good investment? Numerous factors determine whether investing in cryptocurrency will be profitable for you. The answer depends on a number of factors, including your time horizon, your risk tolerance, both financially and psychologically, and how diversified your portfolio is. Because cryptocurrencies are so volatile, the value of your coins may fluctuate sharply and quickly. The mere fact that an asset is tradable does not guarantee that it is the best investment for your circumstances. And as was already mentioned, there is always a chance that you could lose money when investing. Number four, how much money should be put into cryptocurrencies? Some experts advise investing 1% to 5% of your net worth or less, considering how much of your portfolio to put into cryptocurrencies. Limiting your overall exposure to cryptocurrencies is essential, and you should never invest more money than you can lose. Although a little amount of exposure to cryptocurrencies when help a diversified portfolio's risk-adjusted return profile, how much money you should invest overall in cryptocurrencies should be determined by your overall investment portfolio and risk tolerance. With that in mind, diversification within crypto is another aspect to consider. The specific crypto assets you're holding matter a lot. For example, certain large cap coins such as Bitcoin, Ether, and Binance Coin may have more promising long-term use cases and be less susceptible to price manipulation. While the whole crypto market tends to be extremely volatile, there is potentially less risk in the larger, more liquid cryptos as compared to the smaller cap, more speculative cryptocurrencies. As a result, you should consider the mix of cryptos you own in addition to the total amount of crypto in your portfolio. Number five, what are the pros and cons of investing in crypto? Pros, because the price of cryptocurrency is not highly correlated with the prices of other investment classes, such as stocks and bonds, having a small exposure to this potentially high growth space can improve risk-adjusted returns. Some experts compare crypto to gold. Both are fungible and durable because they're hard to destroy, scarce due to finite supply, and their purchasing power is not defined by any central authority. Thanks to the decentralization and transparency of the distributed ledger, it's difficult to compromise the network integrity behind cryptocurrencies. Cons. The cryptocurrency market is highly volatile, it can be difficult to predict when values will rise or fall, and the drivers of large swings in value may not always be clear. The crypto blockchains are extremely difficult to hack, individuals are vulnerable to hacking due to the risks inherent in any online activity. 
Because cryptocurrencies are currently not subject to much government regulation, transactions are not legally protected. Number six, how to keep your cryptocurrency secure. One of the unique concerns that comes with this type of investing is taking precautions to keep your crypto investment secure. Here are some pointers that might be useful. Tip number one, make sure to only use trusted exchanges and digital wallet providers. One of the most popular is Binance Exchange, which is the number one crypto exchange platform. You can use as well the other platforms such as Coinbase, Bybit, and many more. Just make sure to review first the pros and cons of each platform for your own protection. Tip number two, strong passwords, two-factor authentication, and secure internet connections are all ways to keep access secure. Avoid putting your account credentials to any internet platform. Better to write it down to your personal notebook. Tip number three, be wary of phishing scams that target cryptocurrency users. Be careful about clicking any shared links from strangers. Tip number four, don't share your password or key with anyone. That's all for today. I hope that you are satisfied to all the insights that I have prepared for you about cryptocurrency. If you are interested in the videos like this, kindly show your support by consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the like button. Do not forget to share these insights to your loved ones who are planning and interested to enter in the world of cryptocurrency. Thank you so much for watching. See you on my next video.